Okay, and we're live. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to VDEF 2020 with Lefteris Eritakis and myself, Neville Gaunt. And we're here today to give you a bit more explanation of what's going to happen with this virtual event. So, Lefteris, this is the second year. Last year, you ran a live event. This year, because of COVID, it's become virtual, which allows lots of other things to happen. Um, it's a technical, um, interesting technical journey you've already been on <laughs> that's, that's got us to where we are today, but we won't tell everyone about that, because, but we just had a bit of fun. Yeah, um, so, why is VDEF 2020 different from other conferences and events? Let's deal with the obvious question. Okay, okay. Well, there are many, many events happening at the moment, and I know people, people everyone is overtired and overzoomed. Uh, so uh, we've done a lot of research on how we were going to do this. Uh, so, for example, right now you see conferences that don't broadcast at all. And they have completely what we call education asynchronous, uh, which means you just go to YouTube and you watch the video uh, at any point. Uh, but that feels a bit funny to me uh, because then there's no event. So what's going to happen, and uh, we're currently formulating the program as we speak, is that we're going to have uh, a live stream as soon as the conference starts. It's, it should last three to four hours. And of course, the, the difference is the content, because the content comes from people who usually don't speak at forums and conferences, usually avoid conferences and forums because they're too busy doing. Uh, they're too busy working and they're too busy doing to, to speak about the doing. And so that's, that's how last year's conference began, uh, is to give the people that don't usually speak, uh, and because they're far too busy working on, on things, uh, a voice, so that we can learn from that. We can learn from the people that are on the job, that are in design, and that have a passion for education, and have a passion of where this is going to go. Uh, because right now, uh, the conversation has gone all, 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 always about uh, virtual and physical and blended. And, uh, you know, so we need to talk about that and how this is done. Excellent. And I think for our viewers, what we need to be telling them is to, the, the date of the event is? Yes, it's the 5th and the 6th of November. Uh, there, is a, there is a possibility that in order to accommodate uh, the, first, the first day, to accommodate some speakers from uh, the other side of the Atlantic, uh, that we might have uh, a PM start. Uh, but definitely then the second day is definitely going to be AM. So we're currently formulating the program, uh, but it looks like first day is going to be start a bit later on in the day, uh, and second day is going to be early, early, sort of nine, ten o'clock start. And obviously, um, because we are international here, you know, it might be nine or ten o'clock in in European time, but that'll be middle of the afternoon or early afternoon for our friends in yeah, India and exactly. Pakistan and the and the Far East will be even earlier, so exactly. or even later. So um, the point is, it will be the fifth and the sixth. That's that's the two dates that that you've got, yes. and people will be coming in from from all over. Now, what I'd like to do is to a, a lot of people that might come on this conference will be heavily involved in design education. Absolutely. But what we're really talking about here is design for everybody, art for everybody, the new products for everybody. You know, that Apple iPhone that a lot of people have got today came from the design table. Mm -hmm. So if you can expand a little bit on what design is, what design means to the, the non-designer, if you like. Okay, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, well, my favorite definition of design uh, comes from uh, Paul Rand. Paul Rand said design is the, is the balance between form and content. Uh, but really to, to the ordinary, to, 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 to the non-designer, it's a, actually something, how something works, how something communicates, how something feels. Uh, and right now we're having in design education, uh, we're having some challenges because uh, 
it seems that in every part of the world or in every institution, there are major differences to the way this is conducted. So, so resulting in very differently educated designers. Uh, because right now, art and design is an international language. Uh, it's a language that, that uh, goes beyond uh, the limitations of, of the country. Uh, but right now we're, we're focusing our, our attention on exactly how uh, the designers of the future are educated uh, and, and the impact that's going to have. Uh, and the shift we're living through now to, to mainly, mainly virtual, uh, relying on virtual more and more, uh, is that something we'd be continuing with or do we need to actually consider also some of the physical elements? So these are the discussions and these are discussions that are gonna have a direct impact on art and design of the future. Yeah, and the, you, you mentioned the future, but of course all of the practitioners that are going to be speaking at this event are practicing it today. Yes. They, yes. They're still doing research for the future, but they're physically practicing in the real world everything they're going to be talking about. Absolutely. So this isn't um, – they may offer some crystal ball thinking. I'm sure they will. But they're going to be telling about what's happening today. You know, where is – where is the the current version of the iPhone going or the Android? You know, what is happening in our real world? And maybe we might even get into what's happening in education. But well, that's a different subject. We might move that. We move that on to later. So when it comes to events, this is probably the first of its kind, really. So it's going to be an exciting time to come online and watch it. The structure, we're talking about a virtual event. Where can people go to automatically? Because you've got so many mediums. Yes. And this is half the problem we can share with, with our viewers here, um, trying to get all the mediums to receive voice and video and actually show voice and video at the same time has been quite an experience for absolutely. my friends. Absolutely, absolutely. Here. Well, yeah, I mean, we could, we could uh, just uh, live stream. Well, our main channel, of course, is the channel of the New Art School. So that's youtube.com slash C slash the new art school. And that's the main hub because that's where you're going to find also all the videos after the event has ended. So, so yes, we are also running an, an asynchronous version of the event, yeah, uh, which means that, yes, you will find all the videos uh, as soon as the event has ended in that channel. And this is going to be the main hub. But, of course, we'll be broadcasting uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, on the New Art School page, on Design Education Talks page, uh, and uh, we'll be broadcasting on Twitter, on um, uh, the New Art School account, and I'm trying to get some permission from LinkedIn, uh, to, 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 but that seems a little bit more complicated, because uh, you apply for permission and they send it, and anyway, that seems a bit long-winded. I'm trying to also get permission to broadcast on LinkedIn page of the new art school where the main event has been hosted. Uh, so yeah, we're going to try to increase media coverage uh, as much as possible so that people can access it. They can, uh, you know, it's, if, if one gets tired of looking at it, they, they, then they can know, they know that they can watch it later. So it's not like we don't want to be tiring people out in making them watch it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to, be streaming, and then everything will be available uh, on YouTube. So like anything else, you can always watch it after the event, but there's nothing like a live event where people actually add comments because people will be tuning in from around the world and the comments chat pages will be completely open. So you'll be able to see what people are saying, how people are giving feedback, um, so in many respects, there's no hiding place. You can't get away from you can't get away from this forum, <laughs> even if you tried. Um, it should be really exciting, 
Um, it will be very different from the normal forums, I can assure you, from what Lev Terrace and I have been speaking about, because there's some interesting, not just speeches, but there's some workshops. Absolutely. So talk a little bit about the workshops that are going to be taking place, because those are going to be live too. Well, well first, you are going to have a fantastic and inspirational workshop on, on, the, on the forum. So, yeah, we're going to, uh, we're attempting to host workshops uh, that are going to be uh, independently uh, hosted on, on, on Zoom or other platforms, uh, but they're going to be uh, they're going to be happening during the event. So uh, we are at the process of finalizing the workshops. I think there's I think it's going to be one more workshop, uh, maybe two, uh, for the event that people can can participate. So we'll be we'll, we'll be uh, sharing these with you very soon. Brilliant. And when everything's been shown here, I mean, we're uh, once all this is live, I mean, this is not recorded um, previously. Uh, this is a live event. We're going to, even this is a live event. I mean, this, this is a very live event. <laughs> um, but we're going to give you all the links. On, so whatever page you're looking at this, we'll give you all the links to where you can see it, where you can contribute to it. So if YouTube is your favorite, you can see it on YouTube and contribute there. Um, if you like Facebook or Twitter, and hopefully um, with LinkedIn permissions, if you like LinkedIn too. Um, so anything we need to say before we close down this particular part? Yeah, I mean, there is uh, an Eventbrite ticket page. Uh, if you go to LinkedIn on the New Art School uh, page, the, you it's good if you sort of, uh, or you could also Google uh, Zion Education Talks, uh, sorry, uh, Valencia Zion Education Forum on Eventbrite. There is a page for the tickets, and that's where we can actually get your email so you receive more notifications and, and more details. But also, we will be putting the links of all the pages everywhere uh, on, on uh, Twitter, uh, on Facebook, on, on LinkedIn. And we will be informing you. We still have uh, some time to go, but of course, this time will fly really fast. Oh, that's certain. A time flies when you're enjoying yourself. And boy, have we been enjoying ourselves over the last couple of weeks. So <laughs> just leaving everyone with a notification. It's the 5th and 6th of November. It will be a live event. You can tune in afterwards, but obviously your contribution there will be a bit muted because you won't be live. You sign up via LinkedIn on the LinkedIn page. We're going to put all of the links in below this presentation here. Yes. And I'm really looking forward to having some fun over the two days. And and it's always good to see your smiley face. If we could design everyone with a smile, that's what I'd be doing. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Liv Terry. Good luck, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. And Thank you. see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yes.